Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at the concept collab done with Nike on the Air Max One and this is the Far Out colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Back to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming up that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store as mentioned earlier we're going to be talking about the air max one the far outs and this is clapped down with concepts so we're going to do a special unboxing just because the packaging is phenomenal so we'll talk about that then go into the contents of the box and unbox the sneaker itself followed by size and fit on this then we'll talk about styling and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing in the resale market so let's jump right into it first off this is one of the coolest boxes i think i've seen concepts truly nailed this if you have not seen my heavy and mellow videos, be sure to go back, check those out. Uh, but this is the far out and it has a special box. The other two uh, Air Max ones also had cool boxes, but this is far out, I guess you could say. Literally looks like a tour bus back from the 60s and 70s. It is fully decorated. It's got such cool graphics. I feel like it's got a lava lamp mixed in with it as well, uh, but I'm just going to show you each part of this. So this is actually the back. It's really cool. The license plate says Massachusetts Concepts, which is very interesting and cute the way that they decided to put their uh, logo on the back here. And we've got the back of the window on the bus, but it is literally shaped from back to front of the tour bus. So you've got the side panels of the bus as well as the front. We've got the wheels and everything and just really cool how this box actually opens here show you the inside as well and then it looks like we have a green and purple bandana paisley print obviously seems to be one of the favorite patterns used on these sneakers but this has concepts all over it looks like we've got some really cool mini vinyl wow look how cool that is let's just take one of these out so we can see what that looks like Wow, that is so cool. For those of you who don't know, I do collect vinyl. Uh, I don't collect mini vinyl per se, uh, but these are really cool. Look at how neat those graphics are on there. We've got side A and side B. This is so intricately detailed. I'm quite impressed with everything that's kind of gone into the packaging of this so far. Let's just put these back in there. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, an air freshener with Concepts logo on it. Super psychedelic looking as well. And then it looks like we've got a rain poncho. So what better than to carry a poncho with you to a concert such as Woodstock if you get wet. This is actually fire. I feel like I'm going to carry this with me anytime I have an outdoor event. You can't go wrong with having a poncho on hand, especially for someone like me who comes from Seattle. Essential. And then we've got some stickers with concepts on them here. You can kind of see all the different 70s and 60s centric stickers. And then it says love or confusion, 1969. Of course, that is the year when Woodstock first started. So really cool that they made that and then of course we get to it so this actually is the same box as the other two sneakers so nothing different here the only difference is the outer box that we've got all right so now let's jump into the overview of the sneaker all right i finally unboxed these officially let's get into it so starting with the front portion of the sneaker so for those of you also wondering about the other two versions the dye and intricacies of the jean material used on here 
it's unique to your pair of sneakers, which is really cool. So I love the fact that they, again, use that jean material on this version. We do have the same patterns here, which again signifies the same patterns used on the original Woodstock ticket. So I love that they really brought the history from Woodstock into this shoe. On the front, we've got that paisley pattern. I really love this paisley pattern specifically because it is purple. I think the purple just really pops off of the light denim and it really works with the color combination that they use throughout the silhouette. As we work our way up, one of the changes in this version is this pony hair that is used to signify a cow. Again, a dairy farmer was the one who originally gave the venue space for Woodstock to happen. So this is very, important to the Woodstock era. So that's why they wanted to add that to the sneaker. But this time it's in a light brown and cream colorway as opposed to dark black and white because obviously there are different types of cows and I would know because I grew up in a farm town. So definitely nice addition that they changed and switched up compared to the other two sneakers. As we work our way up, we have hot pink laces. And I think hot pink was the perfect color combination to go with on this. And then behind this, we do have a velvety tongue. It's a really nice sheen color scheme. I think it plays quite nicely with the laces. We do have the concepts in Nike dual logo as well. If you're not feeling those laces, you do have the hot pink velvet laces, which I think would be a cool switch up just because the texture, I think, blends quite nicely again with that tongue since it is the same material or you can go with the white laces. All right, so let's look at those details then we'll move on to the side panels. So working our way to the side panels, we have more of that denim material used on the side paneling. And then one of my favorite parts that is very similar to the other sneakers is the swoosh. We've got floral print, printed embroidery. So as you know, in the 60s and 70s, flower power, hippies, and their style really was a huge influence on the idea behind the creation of the sneaker. So I love that they have switched up the swoosh mark with that design. As we work our way to the back, we do have more of that paisley print pattern, this kind of distressed uh, threading going on the Nike Air on the back here in white. We also have concepts on the back, which kind of reminds me again of a woven type of blanket. On the inner lining of the, the ankle collar here, it is in hot pink, and we do have hits of that corduroy in the brown colorway on the eyelets. And then as we work our way to the other swoosh, it is in this three color tiered pattern and a light green, a green and a light blue, and then more of that paisley pattern in purple. Then the shoe is completed with, again, this really cool splattered marking to give the effect that you were at a concert and you just got your shoe splattered, which is very typical if you've gone to outdoor con uh, uh, concerts. I know myself, my sneakers have definitely been through it, but they even did that on the air bubble, which I think is quite cool. All right, and one of the coolest parts of the sneaker is actually the guitar pick. So this time around, it is a different color. We have it in the blue and yellow color scheme. I think out of all the three picks that I saw so far, this probably is the coolest colorway. I think it just stands out a little bit more. And it's a very unique kind of teal marbled color scheme going on. The shoe then is complete with this outsole in the beige colorway. And again, we have the he we've had the heavy and mellow versions of this. I will actually probably be doing a whole video on a comparison of all three. Again, a lot of influence with drugs in this, so that's why you got the heavy and mellow. And of course, far out is just a typical saying that reminds me of that era as well. So I love that they kind of coined the shoe the far out uh, colorway. All right, let's look at those details, then move on to size and fit.
have it, let's talk about size and fit. All right, so jumping into size and fit, I would say stick to your size on this one. For Air Max ones, I typically am always a seven and a half. I do have higher action hour feet. Like to wear my sneakers a little bit on the larger size just because I decide to switch up my socks here and there. If you do have flatter, wider feet, this could differentiate a size that works different for you. So do take that into consideration. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Super, super psychedelic, crazy colors going here. I think this is honestly one of my favorite color combinations just because i love the hot pink and purples with that light denim as well as those hits of lime green so i definitely wanted to put some of those color schemes into my looks for the first look i went all green really wanted to pull off those lime green color schemes so i wore a lime green skirt i paired that with a just green evergreenish type of shirt and i layered that with a lime green puffer vest look I decided to pull from the purple this time I wore a turtleneck that was in a deep purple colorway layered that with a lighter purple blazer with some satin purple pants so definitely had fun really pulling for the from the purple hues in this one And then for the last and final look, I wore just a color that is kind of on the heel, which is the red paneling. And I decided to wear something very hippie with bell bottoms. So I wore a jumpsuit with belled out bottoms in a red and white color. Let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style? with how these are currently doing in the resale market. 
So these retail for a little bit higher of a price point in comparison to the other two, just because of all the little trinkets that you get with this. So the retail value was $230 and it is going now between $330 to $700. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you're new here today, thanks so much for joining us. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of you coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out the join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode.